If you guys are looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. Coins are currently discounted, guys. They got 24-7 support. They're super awesome to work with. Head on over. Use code Poodle for an additional 15% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team Video Guide. Today, I'm going to be going over the Team of the Week promo and what to kind of expect from the Team of the Week promo now. Again, I know a lot of you guys are probably new to either Madden or even last year you guys were new. Or you just didn't play long enough to really comprehend certain things. But guys, Team of the Week should be coming next week. As long as they're not behind, they don't skip it. Now, the way Team of the Week pretty much works, it compiles each week of the NFL. They, the NFL, or the, the devs of EA decide who they think deserves an upgrade based on their week's performances, and they make it happen now. They usually come out on Tuesdays following Monday Night Football. Now, from past experiences, you typically don't see Monday Night Football guys as much involved with Tuesday. Now, it could be just because, you know, like, late games, you know, it's too hard to make it. Now, that's understandable. I'll give them that, like, late games, it's very hard to get the whole card in there, and they probably already decide those from pretenses already. But guys, before I get into the video and I go over everything about the Team of the Week promo, show you guys some cards, kind of just go over how that usually goes down, make sure you're down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that into a good boy. So join the family, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up as always, and comment down below. Let me know if Team of the Week promo is one of your favorite promos. I personally really like it. It's like, it's kind of like flashbacks, veterans, and heavyweights, but more fun because it's more like, it reminds me kind of like a fantasy football, like guys that put up certain stats, how well they did, what cards we get. Now, here's the thing. Team of the Week brings about three important things here. So first off, budget squads team of the week is a big budget squad component uh the lower pieces usually are fast guys with like a big week or they hit a certain speed that week or just something along those ends so they big for budget squads number two team of the week brings about weekly great players like 90 overall bosses 91 overall ltds usually offensive defensive and an ltd and those cards are usually pretty usable and last year they made it so you didn't have to power them up or you couldn't power them up so you could put abilities on them uh, they usually they weren't a part of power ups instantly, which was kind of big because they did where they were able to get the abilities that some guys typically wouldn't get without powering up. So that was kind of interesting. And the third component, they have solo challenges weekly that give you free players, coins, and give you the chance to get a free team of the year player at the end of the year. Now I will go over all that as we get into it, guys. Typically, that's the best part about team of the week is going to be that free um, player at the end of the year. Now, guys, before we get into the rest of this. I'm about to head on over to the, some of the screenshots, show you guys what I compile, like some of the players, and I'll come back oh, as I'm doing it and talk about some of the team of the week stuff that goes on with it. If you take a look, so guys, if you take a look right over here, you can see some of the team of the weeks for the year. Let's start with what really started the year, of course, because obviously these cards weren't the ones that started. It was all the way back here, right around here. Let's see, let's see. I remember most of these actually, which is pretty crazy. Um. So these are these aren't the heroes. The hero started, I believe, da at Dalvin Cook, right? Yep, Dalvin Cook. So these were when they started getting much higher up in the year. So Dalvin Cook was, I believe, the first week. Dalvin Cook, Bradley Chubb, and was it Lamar Jackson? So yeah, Bra Bradley Chubb was the LTD. Dalvin Cook, no, doesn't make sense. No, Lamar couldn't have been the first week. No, it was the first. Team the one, week one hero. Pre oh, these are the preseason. Sorry. So there was two preseasons, no LTD. Week one was CJ Mosley. Um, CJ Mosley, Lamar Jackson, and I'm not sure where the other one was. But point is here, guys, as you guys see, this was one of the first ones dropped on week one, Lamar Jackson, 90 speed. Now, this card is very, very similar to the uh, Superstar MVP, Lamar Jackson. Very, very similar. So, you can guys kind of kind of see that kind of how this, how this kind of works. Stats, for the most part, have been pretty similar to last year for the most part so far. Um, so, you can kind of expect week one to be similar to Superstar MVP level players. Now, we didn't get the preseason heroes, which we usually get, like Dalvin Cook and Chubb, which is, it really sucks. The last few years, we've gotten some great preseason heroes. Uh, we got Tyreek Hill one year. We got uh, Dalvin Cook. Preseason heroes have typically been really, really fun to play with and give us a great player to start the year with. Like, Dalvin Cook was really, really fun to play with the first few weeks. But moving on, guys, these do move up all the way into the final week of the year. And then pretty much the way it's going to go is once the year is over, they then compile into team of the year. But I'll go over that in just a second. So for the first week, expect... Offensive hero, defensive hero, and LTD. Now, typically, I believe that from the, the theory is that they get them off of fantasy stats, like the highest scoring score in standard leagues or PPR, whatever they do is. But then again, I've seen, mo but then defensively, they pick kind of weird. Like, I've seen weeks where we've had crazy performances and they pick guys like Brennan Scarlett. Uh, defensively, I really don't know how they go about that. So, yeah, as you guys can see here, defensively, we've gotten CJ Mosley, Desmond King, Clay Matthews, Gary Slay Jr., Brandon Graham. Now, offensively, it's made sense. Like, Lamar had a crazy week one, Nick Chubb had a crazy week four. Keenan Allen must have done really good week three. Julio Jones, more or less, you get really great offensive players. 
Defensively, it's always like a throw up with these guys, but in terms of offense, you typically get great players. Now, Edelman was, was kind of horrible, 84 speed. Uh, Chris Godwin was good. Marvin Jones Jr., Mark Ingram, Derrick Henry, Stephon Diggs, Tyreek Hill. So as you guys are looking at this, you can pretty much just kind of see that, for the most part, we're going to get good players every single week. Deshaun Watson, Baker Mayfield, Chris Carson wasn't good, Kevin Coleman, but almost every week. Now, it goes up all the way to 92 overall. Oh, not 92 overall. It should go up one more. Hold up. I was going to say, that's way too low. So here we go. Then we get, uh, let's see, John Brown, Christian Kirk, Kenny Galladay. Devin White was amazing. Saquon Barkley was amazing. Moving on up, we got Joe Mixon, Austin Eckler, Mike Gallup, all the way to week 17, which is the final week. And then that's where we transition into team of the year. Now, pretty much they compile all these team of the weeks up. You more or less know who the best players were per week. Now, these cards, again, you make them with sets. There's going to be sets. And make sure, guys, there's going to be a weekly solo challenge that you can do that gives you guys tokens. And you collect all 17 weekly tokens, just like the legend tokens. You will be able to get the free team of the year player. Now, I'll go into this right here to show you guys team of the year real quick. Because these, kind of, these guys more or less kind of are like hand in hand. So, there's where team of the year comes out. So, then we've got guys like Aaron Donald, Russell Wilson, Chris Godwin. So, team of the year is pretty much the finale of team of the week. All the best players compiled throughout the year now. These guys didn't have to get Team of the Week cards to be on Team of the Year. These are just guys who weekly, like, let's say Jamal Adams was second in their running. I mean, this could be a way they do it. Like, Jamal Adams was second in their running for Defensive Player of the Week or on Team of the Week defensively, like, multiple times. They'd be like, okay, he should have been there even if he didn't get it once. But vice versa, same thing. Either way, they don't have to be in there. For the most part, though, you guys can see this team now. The only thing they do do on Madden, which kind of sucks, is Christian McCaffrey, right? Was the best running back by far last year. He didn't get a team of the year. They gave it to guys like, I believe, Nick Chubb instead, if I'm not mistaken. Let's go, yeah, Nick Chubb. Now, you might wonder why. Now, the thing is, pretty much they do upgrade base. So, they knew that uh, they knew that Christian McCaffrey was going to get offensive play of the year slash MVP. Which, Christian McCaffrey, they did know he would probably win an award or they were going to put him in the NFL award promo regardless. So, and which they end up did, they end up doing that. He got a 97 overall. So, pretty much what they did was they snubbed him out of the team of the year because they knew they were putting him there. Lamar Jackson, same thing. They knew he was going to get the MVP award or at least the offensive play of the year. So, what they did. They put Russell Wilson here instead. So the only reason that team of the year will be anything different than the best players of the year, it'll be the second or third based on that. And we also have the Super Bowl promo. So let's say 49ers and Chiefs in the Super Bowl. They won't put Mahomes in the team of the year promo. They won't put Tyree Kill in there. And for the most part, that's pretty much what they did. They did keep top, top players out of here that were either in the Super Bowl or going to get an NFL award ceremony. Now, there are some guys who do end up doing that, such as Michael Thomas, like, they did put Michael Thomas and Calais Campbell in Team of the Year and then end up getting awards. So, I guess guys that they don't know are surefire guys to get awards, they will go ahead and still put them in these promos. But for the most part, pretty much how it's going to run, guys. Pretty much wraps up Team of the Year and Team of the Week. Come back, guys, when this does drop, it's usually on Tuesdays, the way the whole format works for, you know, our sake of Madden and everything. They're going to do a morning pre-release stream where they go over all the players and cards. Then the cards will come out around 2 o'clock on Tuesday. 1, 1 to 2 p.m. Eastern Time. A typically 10 30 video i'll make for you guys you guys will know the players and then around one to two the solos will drop as well as the weekly tokens you can go get and the sets and of course the players and the packs so the packs will open around two uh, two o'clock as well so typically team of the week is a pretty prolonged day you know everything in the morning you see everything midday still fun though if you guys do want to see team of the week predictions comment down below if you guys want to see them like the video up if you guys want to see them i will do a team of the week predictions video for you guys weekly if you do actually enjoy that i feel like that could be a fun video weekly just to get in there and see what we can if we can get any right maybe even keep track of the guys that we do get right so maybe every week i'll, I'll predict the my top two offense and my top two defensive and my top two ltds maybe and if i you know I'll keep track of how many i hit i think that'd be pretty cool to do but Guys, that's about it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Now, Team of the Week is one of my favorite promos, honestly, since I've been playing for about as long as I've been playing Madden for, as long as it's been around. Team of the Week's always been super fun. It's I played FIFA, I played other games too, where it's just been it's always a blast, Team of the Week. It keeps you it keeps you in that like that season vibe. Like you watch the NFL on Sundays. Now who's gonna get the card? And it's always been fun. Now it's always again, there are gonna be a lot of snubs, guys. You're gonna see weeks where the best player clearly in the NFL this week was this guy, and some guy you don't even know got the card. Now that's gonna be happening. That's the reality of it. But that's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that on to boys. Enjoy the family. Make sure to do a big thumbs up as always. If you haven't already, comment down below. Let me know how excited are you guys for Team of the Week. Is this one of your favorite promos? And honestly, give me a little early projection. I think Clyde will be in there. I want to say Clyde would be in there, but you know how EA works and he's a Rick Premier, so they probably won't throw him in there. But guys, about it for the video. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.